Hello and welcome to the 11th tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at position using the jump by method. We'll be using the source code from the 7th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with loads of useful functionality for moving a node. Most things in Cocos 2D JS are nodes such as sprites and menu items. We will look at positioning using the jump by method, which jumps to a set point over a set number of jumps relative to its current position or you can think of it as offsetting the nose position by jumping. So to actually do this we need to open up our file or project and the one we need to open up is app.js. First of all we need to create a sprite action which will be of jump by the var sprite underscore action again you can call this whatever you want That's cc dot jump by missing dot create that won't work without that okay so this takes a few parameters the first one it, it takes how long you want the action to take in total so I'm going to put two seconds and then the next one is is how much you want it to move by relative to its original position so aka where do you want it to end up so I'm going to put cc dot p 100 by 200 so it's going to move 100 pixels to the right and 200 pixels up but it'll be jumping while it does this the next parameter is how high you want each jump to be so I'm going to put 50 pixels and then next I'm going to put how many jumps and I'm going to put 4 jumps ok now the only thing that's left is to run this action on our sprite so sprite dot run action and in here we specify the sprite action, save it, and now we're ready to run. So open up terminal, cd to our project directory, now run the command cocos run dash p. Obviously, you can do this on iOS or Android, but I'm just running it on the web. As you can see, it jumped. Let's just ref refresh that for a moment. So one, two, three, four. So it moved 100 pixels to the right and 200 pixels up from the original position, which was the center of the screen. So that is it for the jump by action. Low thing to note, you can't reuse actions for different nodes. You either need to create a new one or release the old one and construct it again. Recommended you just create a new action for the different nodes you have. No task for you to do, using a screen size variable, aka this, which has been used to position the sprite so it's always in the center of the screen use it so instead of using magic numbers aka here factor in the screen size so you, you always end up in the same position on the different screen sizes and the jump is always the same height on the different screen sizes visually that is and that is it the next tutorial will cover positioning using the, the uh, the uh, two method which allows you to curve uh, your node. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube all the required info source code will also be in the description and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day